Hi and thanks for coming back to my YouTube channel and this week we get Jenny finally to show off what she really has on underneath part two. So just a quick recap of where I left you last time. This is what, what she looked like when I first picked her up and this is where we got to where I'd stripped the roof back a little bit and also just noticed a bit of grey paint on some seriously thick steel. Now we get to see where that grey paint goes. The grey metal work that is actually sticking through the white plastic covering for the wall, that for the earth point and also for bolting the batteries up to it. It's three sheets of metal, like five mil thick steel, and there's like two plates of that. All the rest of the grey sheets of steel that you see here are two and a half to three mil thick steel. I mean, it's serious stuff. It's like armoured car territory. No wonder they had to put the gross vehicle weight up to four tonne and run it on 12 ply tyres. I did video some of it um, after I'd cut all the grey metal out we'll repurpose it for the trucks at work so the good old ambulance will come to somebody else's rescue. Found it easier to cut round the welds. And here, I just left the metal there and I just cut it off. Put me out, out on properly, there we go. So now I'll take, ow, 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 crap, 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 crap. <sighs> ah, it's better. So now I've taken the steel out. Temporarily put in an earth point here, which leads down to the battery. This is the new battery, not the one that chucked all the acid all over the floor, as you can see by that one. I've still got to put more battery acid in this, and then I can, it's still perfectly fine. Um, so, this is brand spanking new, and as you can see, I've taken out the transportation plugs, learned from my lesson got all the positives still got my trusty circuit breakers let's see if I can wedge that up here see all the iron filings see if I can get rid of those there we go there we go iron filings not good this first of all I cut out using my multi-tool which is 240 volts so I use the eco flow to basically cut sections out, which you can see, I cut round the window, cut round all the things, took that out and then that exposed the steel. Well, there must have been 50 kilos of steel in here, just with what I've taken out. Plus, plus this, this really, this is really thick, as you can see. It's really thick steel, so it's heavy. Small amount of it's fine, but, I removed this before. This was over over the rear wheel arch. All of this steel, which you can see here, and it, it, it's heavy. So all of that there, that weighs a hundred kilos. So we've now gone on to a different day. I had a little bit more time, so I got the video camera out and. Um, yeah, this is on the other side of the wall, so enjoy. Remembering this side of the van that actually had compressed proper oxygen bottles. Quite big ones. If it was involved in an accident or the compressed bottles got um, damaged, well, you can just imagine the carnage. At this point, I'm starting to think to myself, these grey pa panels, they go all the way down this side of the van.
So I didn't actually have a screwdriver that would fit in the actual head of the screw. So I got the universal tool out to actually remove it. And it worked very well. I had heard of this before, so I wasn't really that surprised, but I was surprised what it was made out of. One stainless steel sheet. Now, it's not welded in, it's actually pop riveted in. So at least it'll be easy to remove. So I really need to actually secure the actual 12 volt panel that I've cut out so that it doesn't fall on the floor and hit on something steel and short circuit. So I find a screw. We now know what Jenny is wearing underneath. And also I find out that the diesel heater, they decide to run the pipe through the sill. I don't know why, they surely could have found a better way than to cut out part of the bodywork structure, but hey, that's what they've done. So we'll see about this in the next episode. Thanks for watching my channel. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe, it's completely free.